Um, I'll tell you, you know, when we meet as a board, uh, the first thing that we do in every meeting Mm -hmm. is we have a time of, of prayer. And uh, after we we study God's word for a moment, and then and then we we have a time of prayer, and and always what comes out of that prayer um, among the board members is that God, we we need you. We mm-hmm. we are inadequate mm-hmm. um, to the task. And we 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 tell the Lord over and over, God, we want the name of Jesus to be preeminent in mm-hmm. all things. We want to. Uh, we want to encourage believers uh, to know your word, to discover mm-hmm. the story, to understand it. And then we want believers to go tell it to others. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and we tell the Lord, we're, we're inadequate. We need you. We, we need wisdom. We start every, every board meeting really with that same question, what happens mm-hmm. next? Mm-hmm. And, you know, the answer to that every time, Ivo will, will she said this over and over, um, I don't know what God wants us to do mm-hmm. next. Uh, but she'll say, I know this, God, God knows our address. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and so we need to be faithful with what we know God has asked us to do already. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, follow him into whatever his next instruction is for us. Um, but, but Jake, specifically for me, I, I just, I, I, my life was radically changed because I met two people mm-hmm. who were not religious people. They sincerely loved Jesus, obeyed him, and knew his word. Mm-hmm. Iva May has read through scripture more than 63 times. Uh, Doc, the same same thing. I, they they served as missionaries in Africa. I watched them uh, serve in their church in the most authentic um, uh, way with integrity that I've ever seen mm. in ministry. And uh, meeting those two people, being invited to discipline myself to know the story of the Bible. Mm-hmm. It radically changed my life. So, you know, I, I, I want to spend whatever time the Lord has given me left, uh, left uh, to continually, consistently lead people to faith in Jesus Christ and teach new believers to know the whole story. Mm-hmm. That if, if I get to do nothing else but pastor our small country church and see people, uh, see, see farmers, mm-hmm. businessmen, bankers, uh, folks with high school education, folks with college education. If I can spend the rest of my life seeing them be able to stand up and teach the Bible, just mm-hmm. like the fishermen stood before the, the religious leaders of their yeah. day, if that's all I get to do, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a happy camper. Hmm.